And, and now the value of the flow is the amount leaving the source. It's, again, the amount arriving at the sink. And as we already noted, this flow has value 99. And the challenge is, given the original network, find a maximum flow. All right, now let me back up. Here's the original problem. Suppose I said, no looking forward to the picture I just showed you. I want you to find a flow on this network, and you have six seconds to do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You got it? How'd you do it? Made them all zero. Yeah. It works. Not, not very useful. Probably will get you fired. <laughs> but uh, can anybody beat that just a little bit? Yeah. Uh, so I, I came up with a flow of one. It's like one going out of the edge, capacity 45. One going to vertex B, and another flow of one going to vertex C. You'd probably get fired too. <laughs> Give me a quick flow which has value, a reasonable value. Forget the 99, because you know, that might have taken me two weeks to get. I want to get one in just a few seconds. I see a 29. I see a 29. Just ship it all across the top. See, 40, capacity of 45, capacity of 29, capacity of 48, capacity of 48. Just ship 29 units across the top and keep everybody else zero. I can see a 31. How am I getting 31? I'm going to ship 29 across the top. I'm going to ship two right through the middle. And now I can see 48. I'm going to ship 29 over the top, two right through the middle, and 16 along the bottom. OK. So. The mathematical principle here is, not, is a little shaky, because clearly I'm, I'm looking at the picture to do this. But certainly, it is correct to say finding a flow is trivial. Finding a flow is trivial. Finding a good one might be very hard. 